What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. I'm back in the kitchen today, fam. I am doing some beef fried ribs. Yes, sir. I'm not going to put them out on the grill or anything like that there. I'm going to I'm gonna get ready to uh, clean some of the fat off of them. You know, beef ribs, they're a little more thick. I'm going to get ready to season them and fry them. Yes, sir. I'm also going also gonna to have some smoked neck bone with some 15 bean soup. Hold on a second. What you know about that right there? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm going to season it up, put a little okra in them, and have some rice and probably some veggies on the side or whatever. But we're going to get ready to do this thing here. But anyway, man, shout out to the Gator fans out there. We won a big game yesterday. We're on our way to this SEC championship. We're going to get this thing together. My friend called me this morning. He he called me in with the, with the uh, <laughs> trying to mess with me, talking about, hey, man, stay away from the kitchen table. You talking about my gut and everything. Man, I'm almost 50 years old, man. I don't care. I'm going to be all right. All right. You know how people try to say something, try to knock you down here and there. He just mad because my gators won. That's all. <laughs> he know I'm stunting today. Yes, sir. Anyway, man, hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. I got all my ribs here cleaned and ready to go to be seasoned. 11 pounds of beef ribs. Cleaned them in the best way I could. Got down to it's a lot of meat. A lot of, as you can see, it's a lot of meat on them. Yeah, man, my, my wife wanted this today. My wife wanted some beef fried ribs, so this is what we're going to get ready to do. Now, with 11 pounds, you want to make sure it's seasoned real good. One-fourth of a cup of black pepper. And they have the spices on that thing. That's a lot of meat to try to season. Then you got one-half a cup of regular garlic powder. Yeah, down in there, okay? One-fourth of a cup of cayenne pepper. You already know, G. Rich style. One-fourth of a cup of seasoned salt. Got to have that seasoned salt, fam. Okay? Last but not least, one full cup of French's yellow mustard. Yes, sir. Things juicy. That beef. All right, we get ready to go in. Side it in there first. Mm-hmm. All right, start flipping it. Don't worry, the season get all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all already know it smell good. Y'all know it. It smell just like it look. Good and seasoned and juicy. Ain't nothing like that French's yellow mustard. Got to make these fried ribs right. So what I'm going to do is, fam, I'm going to leave them in this big pan and fry them right out of this pan. So I'm just going to put the flour on top, grind it in there pretty good, season it pretty good. <clears throat> put, a little, put a little more garlic on top of the flour, and we're going to go from there. And by that time, when I catch up and get ready to fry it, I have everything else on cooking. Oh, man. Yeah, all I'm good and covered now. Mama, there goes that man. Okay, we'll be back, fam. Okay, fam, here we go. As you can see, I'm frying some chicken for my son, Corey, because he, he do not eat nothing else. He likes just the regular straight fried chicken. But fried chicken legs. I'm gonna doing a few for him over here. And this pot right here, I got my 15 bean soup with some smoked neck bones in it, uh, a few pieces of okra, and, a, and one can of French style green beans cut up. Yes, yeah, sir. That's just getting started. That's going to be some good eating there, fam. All right, let's take and see if the ribs ready to go in. Oh, yeah. This stuff I got on top is um, got extra garlic parsley. Yes, 
sir. Uh huh. So we're going to slow fry these, put them, fry them on the number six. Mm hmm. They fry them too, too fast, too hard. So we want them to come out perfect. And try to fry four at a time. It'll be crisp, nice and crispy, but juicy on the inside. Yes, sir. We'll be back to check on. Okay, fam. Well, like the first wave of, of his chicken about to get ready to get done. We're going to check on the ribs in a second. Oh, yeah. Nice and crispy. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Golden brown, fam. Look at that. Oh, man. Come on, man. All right, get ready to put his second wave in. Let's check on the, the ribs for right now. So this is what we came to do anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. Nice and crispy. They coming along. Not where I want it yet. But we'll be back to check them out when they done. All right, fam. The first wave, wave of ribs should be ready to come out. The, the grease done set down. Calm down. Some, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Ooh. We'll give y'all peace in a minute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. I always put a little napkin or a drip them down in there because you don't want your um, grill to be greasy by sitting it on a, a plate or a pan without any drying um with any drip uh, cloth or anything. Oh, that looks good. Yes, sir, that one looks perfect. Mm, they full of meat too, fam. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get ready to put the second wave in there. And after that, we'll be back when they all done. Nice little recipe that you can enjoy. Cook for your family, especially on a Sunday when you have the time to cook. Yes, sir. See all at the end, fam. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It's coming along, fam. Coming along. Okay, fam. That's my finished look. Look at they lined up like a thing. I can't wait to get in them. Yes, sir. Uh hmm. Ooh. <laughs> hey, man. If y'all like this recipe, look down in the description area. Try it out for yourself. It's mouth watering. Yes, sir. Love y'all to life, man. G Rich out. In your mind.